Guilty on all counts. Rebecca Grossman convicted of second-degree murder and vehicular manslaughter for running down two young brothers. The jury delivering that verdict in just the past 30 minutes. We go live right now to outside the courtroom. This is the mother and father of the Iskander brothers, the two boys who were tragically killed in that crash. Let's listen in. And help as many uh, children as possible who are in need in the name of Mark and Jake. Nancy, can you talk about what it's been like for your two surviving children, this whole ordeal? It's been, it's been very hard on Zachary. He's seen it happen. He was with us. He only knew his two brothers. He was only five years old at the time. Um, he still, I, I don't think he's fully digested it yet. He's still trying to understand why something like that would happen. He has very strong memories of it. Um, so we've been, um, you know, dealing with a lot of trauma. And your daughter was just a baby then. My daughter was one at the time, yeah. She does talk about her brothers in heaven. Uh, but in a different way than what Zachary says. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank you, Nancy. So they're just wrapping up this press conference. They've been expressing their gratitude to prosecutors um, and the feeling of justice that they feel at the end of uh, Rebecca Grossman being found guilty on all counts. Our Susan Hirasuna is there. We'll check in with her in a little bit, but we want to now welcome you inside the Fox 11 News at 5. Yes, welcome to the Fox 11 News at 5. Now simulcast on our sister station, Fox 11 Plus. I'm Christine Devine. And I'm Alex Michelson. And uh, this is a case uh, that we have been following for years now. Um, this is uh, somebody, when you think about Rebecca Grossman, um, and the Grossman Burn Center, which is just, you know, basically very close to the Van Nuys Courthouse. <laughs> if you're driving the Van Nuys Courthouse, you'd, you'd pass it. Um, and we now look at, at what happened to her, this well-known socialite found guilty of two counts of murder, guilty two counts of vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence, guilty one count of hit and run or driving resulting in death. So, Christine, we didn't know what would happen, and she was found guilty of everything. Yeah, this jury taking two days to deliberate. It is a jury made up of nine men, three women. Our Susan here soon has been covering that. We go out to her live now for the update. Susan. Well, let me just tell you, it was a remarkable moment in court when the jury finally came back and and the uh, judge read the uh, decision by the jury members. Jury member six was the foreman, and it, one after another, there were five counts against Rebecca Grossman, and each one came back as guilty. That could mean that Rebecca Grossman could get as much as 34 years to life in prison once she is finally sentenced. Let me tell you that beyond that, there was also... Um, Sorry, taking a look at who's coming out of the courthouse now. Some of those people include the uh, attorney, Tony Busby, and John Hudson, and they were with, uh, obviously, a part of the defense team for Grossman. That's what's drawn a lot of attention right now. But let me go back to that moment in court when the verdict was read. The children were there. They have a son and a daughter, Peter Grossman. The husband was there. Uh, as each count was read, once we got to the second or third account, Alexis, the 19-year-old, literally yelled out, oh, my God, oh, my God, while the son was sitting next to her just shaking and crying. And then once it was time for the judge to decide with or with, against the attorney or, or with the attorney that, um, that needs to, uh, they, they were asking for her to be released and on bail and go back home, but instead he said, Justin has been delayed for three and a half years while we waited to adjudicate this case, so no, it's time to move forward, and she was put into handcuffs, and it was at that moment that the Grossman family jumped up, tried to get to her, couldn't get to her, they each yelled, and she whispered, I love you, so it was really such a remarkable moment yeah, in and, court that they Susan, took the... Grossman members into a, a side room. Alex? That, I, I don't know if you could see what your camera guy was just uh, taking us to, but basically it looked like we were just looking at an image of the, the Grossman family walking out with their arms around each other. Is that what we were looking at? No, those were all supporters. I did okay. not see Peter Grossman or the two children, okay. but their attorneys most definitely were there.
So, um, meantime, in also in the courtroom was a big, as you just saw, so many supporters for the Iskander family, and in that moment, there were tears and, and cries and uh, remarks on that side as well. Before um, Alexis went to a, a private room with her family, the bailiff suggested that they go to that private room. She actually said out loud, why did you do this? Kind of directed to the Iskanders. But you heard how grateful the Iskanders are that this proce process has come to a conclusion. They finally have some closure. They were saying that they were surprised at the tactics that were taken by the high-powered attorneys that the Grossmans hired, but ultimately uh, they were so grateful that the jurors took this this uh, duty so seriously and then uh, came back with this this uh, five counts guilty against so, Rebecca. So is, she, is she now taken into custody? She was remanded into custody, handcuffed in the courtroom, and taken away. Very dramatic inside that courtroom, Susan. Thank you for bringing that picture to life there for us. Uh, really a very sad case all around for all parties involved. Thank you for your report. Two families basically completely devastated at this point. Um,